our flow particle system it's allowed more precision control based to the position of the cursor and the properties we have the size the control size of the particle system or brush we have it particles same amount from one to three hundred we have it a radius which allowed us to set radius of the particles in the brush we have it also speed of the brush how it will go to effect also we have it now um, properties that allowed us to control how the particles will react to position of the brush so the center it said global attraction force of the particles and in a focus will set individual attraction of the particles and same as a chaos will allow us to set the chaos parameter for the brush um, the more value the more chaotic they get it and noise set noise parameter of the brush so this way we can kind of creating so right here you can preview one and of course if we're going attraction to the center increase maximum okay and let's go just if we want it we'll set focus but at the same time add chaotic noise and you can see we have more twisting kind of going because our noise let's increase noise even higher okay and bring is chaotic now we have a total mess on our screen okay so overall this is values allowed us to control it how chaotic can noise and how much they're attracted to the center if you can monitor and see how the brush is going so the attraction right now very high to the center of our cursor but at the same time we have a very high noise and high enough the chaotic and noise high enough okay so when we want to create uh, exact lines or a, or a more precise kind of um the brush using with define width the liner it's what precise we needed for this so right here we have it very simple we have its size the liner tools and also how smooth we want it so you can see right there we have a very simple putting in line and actually let's go on switch on the fill so you can see with the fill it's just simple line how we want to wider or a thinner line and as well how smooth we want this line affecting by following our cursor so let's reduce smoother and one thing i want to say um, we're going over all the settings and most of it probably when you start working kind of don't remember all of those names or what we do and that's okay because we're going to after creating our own brushes we will create fall brush we're creating all these different chaotic brushes and as we're working with them we're going again over some of the settings and it's probably the best way to learn by put it your hands on and play around with those settings okay so let's go ahead remove some of our artwork the next we're going with elastic and elastic it's provide for us very kind of soft organic effect um, and again in elastic you can see we have right here our size we have the amount of the particle we also have it the radius and you notice what's happening now our brush it's have this effect of the elastic brushes but it does not necessarily go in chaotic it's have this spherical effect so now also we have elasticity which is um more elastic shape of the brush so the higher number and you can see how with higher number it become quite a bit elastic effect okay and the less of course the less elastic it will happen okay and currently it's a uh, nice to work when we spread put it around elements but if we just have a brush right there so we have just except brushes okay the speed it is the brush speed the, that uh, represent elastic shape reaction to this and of course the noise it's a set parameter from 0 to 100 and it's allowed to get a more noise on our particles and you can see we set the noise higher you can see how the end it's become much more noisy in this end okay also we have a um, mod frequency and this is a 
the change shape of our modifier. So let's go for example, zero, it will represent as a circle. And if we're going two, four, five, and we can represent more and more, and you can see as we change, it's changed the shape of our modifier. So for example, right here, it's almost look like a marble or something. We're going to go up to three. Okay, you know what, let's um, switch the gradient to have some more fun gradient on this. You can see we have it kind of different tool. Okay, as well, we're right now in a blend mode lighting, so let me switch to normal. In this case, we can kind of a little bit more fun with this brush. Again, this is kind of nice, organic, very interesting type of the brush. Okay, let's go next. We're going to um, close our things. Let's go to fuzzy. And this is a string based particle things. And you can see as we just hold it, we have kind of almost like string hanging down of our cursor. And if we draw those strings is spread around. As we look on the properties for this particle system, we have the size of our brush. Right there, we have it quite a bit longer. We have an amount of the particles. The more particles, the smaller it become. Okay. Link, overall link of our brush. And you can see now they spread run again. Um, those amount of the particles was, we specified before. So if we reduce amount of particles, but still higher link. Now you can see that we start drawing. It's have a kind of very interesting, unusual effect. Okay, so let's go ahead to delete this one. Okay, let me reduce the link on that. And again, this is take some experiment to find the best way you can do it. So we'll just maybe even create a shorter. Okay, there you go. Okay, the strings, it's not number of the string current we have at seven we can have it way more strings or we can take just to this two strings and right here for example we have just the two of them next we have the radius which is uh, set the radius of the particle center so we just increase higher there's our radius attachment and you can let's add a few more strings and you can see the radius of our brush and strings now going from not single center. Again, if we take to one, our strings will almost look like come from one single point. We have it also softness, which is um, the so higher number, the softer strokes will be. You can see right here, but remember again, if we're doing it, it will speed we're going around. Okay, the speed which allowed us also represent the brush reaction and speed noise set what behavior of the string. Um, the higher the number, the bigger difference between each strings is. So if we can go increase speed on this, let's take softness down so we can respond a little bit faster. And look how right now each string is represent different. Okay, let's remove this one. We'll take amount of the spring string to two we increase noise between two of the strings and as we move you can see how the different the strings will react okay this is kind of overview all of the particle system and uh, next let's look closer on uh, what type of shapes we have and we can use it 